Hello friends, this is Pankaj and you are watching AM Tutorial. In this video, I am going to show you how you can show or hide direct fields with a drop down in AEM. Let me show you what I am talking about. Let's open the AEM and go to the site console. Let me open this demo site, open this English page. This is my English page and here I have used this list component. This is the out of the component of AEM. Uh, if I will open it, I will see a dialog. Here you can see here we have this select drop down. If I will change this to descendant pages, it will change. Let me change again. Let me select the fixed list based on our selection. This below field will change. Again, let me select this search. This option is getting changed to the search. So there may be a requirement when you want to change the dialog fields based on the selection of checkbox or drop down. There is a secret show hide client library in AEM. We will use JavaScript from this client library to show or hide the fields based on a dialog select drop down. This client library is located at the JCR path lips CQ GUI components authoring dialog drop down show hide. Let's open this path. So go to the lips CQ select the GUI and then select the components authoring and then go to the dialog within the dialog we need to open drop down show hide so this is the client library let's open this we have this js drop down show hide dot js and this client library has a category of cq dot authoring dot dialog that means this JavaScript is available in every dialog of Adobe Experience Manager. So there are a few steps to use this client library with the drop down select field. The first step is we need to add CQ dialog drop down show height class to drop down field. And after that, we need to add CQ dialog drop down show height target data attribute to the drop down and value of it will be a jQuery selector. After that, third step is we need to add the selector class to each field that we need to show or hide. And the last step is to add show height target value data attribute with the value of select drop down option in the field that we need to show or hide. I have already performed these four steps and created a dialog box. Let me show you. This is my English page and here we have this hello world. I have already created this drop down box and on the selection of mail it shows this mr field label with the text field and if i select this gender as a female then it will show a mrs field label with this text field i have performed all the four steps in the hello world component let me show you go to our project go to the apps go to the demo training components content here i have this hello world let me get rid of this client library as we are using the client library which is already provided in AEM in this path in the path that I had shown you here go to the CQ dialog and within the column we have the items and within the items we have this drop down so the first step was to, to add CQ dialog drop down show height class to the drop down field here you can see we have this drop down field and here i have added a class granite colon class and its value is cq dialog drop down show height and the second step was to add cq dialog drop down show height target data attribute to the drop down and value of it will be a jQuery selector so what i have done i have created our granite data attribute below this drop down and here i have created a property of cq dialog drop down show height target and its value is jk selector so i have used a selector as dot show height targets so after doing this step i need to add the selector class to each fields to show or hide so our selector is this show height targets so below drop down we have this container and under which i can add several items so for example here i have added this text field which i have this field level as mr and uh, the second one is again a container 
and in which we have female field which has field label as misses so i can add several fields here to show her height so in the third step what i have done i have added a selector class to each field to show her height so in the container you will see that i have added a granite colon class and its values the selector show height targets same in this target f show height targets so this was our third step and the fourth step was to add the show height target value data attribute with the value of select drop down option so below this we have created a granite data attribute and its properties show height target value and the value will be one of the option from this drop down so we have two options here first one is male and the second option is female so in this granite data i have used the value as male if they will select the first option this will be a male and for the second option we have the option of female so after doing all these four steps properly you will be able to do this show height using the select drop down once you are done with this you can go to the page and open the dialog box of yours and you can change this the option and based on which fields will get changed this is how you can show or hide dialog fields with a drop down and in the next video clip we will see how you can show or hide your dialog field using checkbox thank you friends if you enjoyed this video subscribe my channel like this video and share this with your friends thanks again for watching